Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Mulesoft Tutorials. Today I am planning to talk about how we can insert a data into database tables using the Mulesoft. First of all, we need to understand what is database and then I will explain about how we can insert a data into database. Database is something where you can store some information. An example, if you take in real time, um, if you want to store your documents in real life, you will put it in a file. If you want to put all your books somewhere in a room, you will put it in a shelf. So now you are storing that data, right? Now in a IT, the information about any such kind of a thing like a customer orders, such data will be stored in a database as a electronically. This database is usually controlled by the database management system. The mostly the data will be used for easily access, managed and modify, update and control and organized. And an example, if I take an example of banking system, your transactions will be created and stored into the database. Maybe if you want to retrieve that transactions, you will be accessing that data and maybe if you want to delete it, those transactions that will be modified or managed, such kind of a thing it will be done in a database. Mostly the databases uses SQL, structured query language to uh, access a data or for inserting a data into databases. I'm going to take uh, one of the example in this uh, video as storing the order information. So I, I purchased a laptop from the Amazon. So Amazon will be creating that order. They store that information. That example, I'm going to take it over here. Using this database connector, we can integrate with the database and store the information or access the data from the databases. So we have a some of the common uh, use cases uh, using the database connector which we can perform in a MuleSoft like you can store the data you can retrieve a data and you can execute some SQL scripts and you can create a tables or you can execute some store procedures all these kind of uh, use cases we can perform using the database connector in MuleSoft so if you want to integrate with a database, first of all, you need to add database connector in a MuleSoft application and then you need to create a global configuration for the database connectivity. You need to drag and drop the insert component as I want to insert a data into database. And then we need to write a query to insert a data into database and then we can do the some response mapping for saying that successfully inserted data or something. Let me get uh, into AnyPoint Studio. I'm going to create a new project over here. Right click new mule project. I'm going to say that sys database API. Click on finish. The first step what we want to do is we want to add database dependency. And then the second step is we need to create a global element create i will say that in database config this is the global configuration which we need to do over here you need to select the database we have a different databases like db2 ibm provides db2 mysql oracle and many more uh, databases are there Today I'm going to show how we can integrate with MySQL. So I'm going to select from the drop down MySQL. If you want to integrate with our Oracle, you need to select Oracle connection. So I'm going to connect with the MySQL connection. So I'm going to select MySQL connection over here. And then you need to add a required library, the dependency for the MySQL connectivity purpose. The driver class cells will be accessed from this library. For that, click on config, add recommended libraries. 
which will download mysql connector jar, uh, jar and it will be added into the pom.xml and then let's get it download this and then we need to provide host name port number username password and database so this information we will get it from the database team so i have my database own database uh, which i have uh, logged into remotely mysql and this is the one of the website uh, you can get it f uh, free of cost for uh, testing purpose so over here this connection information if you see that right click uh, and i'm going to the properties if you see that i have this is the host name i'm going to copy this host name port number the port number is 3306 and username is this port number is 3306 and username and database name also it is the same and i want to give my password over here let me enter my password i entered my password also now click on test connection if we have provided all this information correctly the test connection will get passed over here the test connection is successful click on ok and click on ok over here that is the second step which is connecting with the database for that reason we are going to create a global element configuration and then in message flow the third step if you see that i want to drag and drop inserting the data into database for that we need to use insert connector if i select a database connector i have a different database components over here i'm going to insert a data into database so for that reason i'm going to use insert component over here in the flow and then in a connector configuration i'm going to select database configuration and then i need to provide the sql query to insert a data into database let me um, let me open my database once again this is my database i have a table called orders over here i have this many columns so i have a currency order date order id order name price quantity status so this information i want to insert into the database currently if you see the data i don't have any data over here so for that reason i have to write a query and if you are not very familiar with the queries you can get easily online insert query in sql so you can get it lot of information in google uh, for inserting data into databases so you can put it the command over here and you can replace your column names over here you can see that and i have this many columns i have a order id and order name order date comma status and these values i want to insert into database so the values where i can say the values is this is parameter one parameter two parameter three parameter four five six so i can say param one like this how many parameters i have that many parameters i need to provide over here so this is the query which is ready i can copy this query and put it over here and make sure that some of the people will do the wrong thing over here putting colon over here you don't need a colon over here now we need to map this param1 param2 param3 so for that input parameters if you see over here i can map those param1 colon i need to map order id right so this is my request which i'm going to submit which will come in a payload so param1 that is order id payload dot order id order id like this i need to map param2 payload dot order name similarly i need to map remaining 
all parameters then param 7 payload dot status this is how we are going to map parameters how many parameters you are going to give param 1 param 2 like this that many keys you need to provide and the values you are going to map it from here that is how you can do the mapping over here so writing the query and mapping mapping the parameters in the input parameters that is the step four which we have then we have a response mapping so once successfully inserted into database i just want to give information that the order has been created or inserted into database so i can use a transform message over here i can say that json status i will say that success and message if you want to say message order inserted into database so that information which i am going to provide now for generating an event over here i need to have some source i'm going to use http listener over here to generate an event and i'm going to use over here http listener configuration i'm going to leave it as it is blank and not blank with the default values and path will be orders over here and uh, i have prepared over here the url it's not orders it i can give as order one order i'm going to insert into database i'm going to receive json data over here and that information will be inserted into database over here by using the insert component where i need to provide this query and mapping the parameters if you don't know about this query sql query you can google and find lot of um, information about sql queries using one of this website now that's it let me test it right click run this project while it is deploying let me explain about my url to test this api i have a localhost 8081 that is the default configuration i have given order as a path in http listener and it is a post method where i am going to post this json and this information when i submit it it will receive in a http listener and it will map to the insert component over here using these parameters and then it will insert into database if i go to the database over here as of now there is no data over here as soon as i uh, submit this request it should be added into database let me test it it is deployed now clear this log and submit when i send a request unknown parameter param 7 in a field list i think we have something wrong in our mapping let me check it uh, we have param okay so if you see that there is a colon is missing over here that is wrong so let me correct it and redeploy it now you can see it is started i'm going to clear the log and i'm going to resubmit a request now you can see success order inserted into database that means this request is successfully inserted into database if i go and refresh my database over here the table now you can see that there is order id inserted and order name is coming as macbook pro 2021 order date quantity price usd the currency shipped so the information whatever i said or sent it over here the same information has been mapped over here in the insert component to those columns associated with these columns and that information is stored into database over here successfully i hope this is very simple uh, you can try to practice uh, this database connection it is very simple first you need to add a database connection 
connection over here and de dependency and you need to create a de global configuration for database and then you need to use insert component over here and write SQL query for inserting a data into database and map those parameters and uh, you can use the map response and use listener to send a event and that will insert into database i hope this is clear that's it for today thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook see you in the next video thank you